Hi, this is Jacob Anderson, and the video today is going to be talking about how to reconnect the motor and the upper part of the headstock after you have uh, taken the motor off for whatever reason. Uh, this is pretty tricky for a lot of people to get back together correctly. So, key thing first is to make sure you have the speed control set up about like this. The worm gear is just about to the outer end of the quadrant there, see? And have the speed control with the notch up so you can connect your handle back to it nice and easily. So that's where I always start off the speed control. And then reassemble the speed control to look like this. So here's the worm gear at the upper end. I've got the clip from the control shift back in place. That lets this be nice and wide open. Make sure the belt is not pinched in there. You might have put on a brand new drive belt. So here, this is how the upper end is set up. Make sure the clips are in place. Sometimes they migrate off. And here's the motor ready to go back on. So I tuck the switch up and slide out of the way. Bring the belt over the shaft, slide the upper casting into place, and we're just going to connect these lower two screws for now. That lets it work as a hinge. So that one is snug. Doing the back one the same way. nice and snug. So now I can kind of move the motor a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to put the belt over here. I have to squeeze the, the motor shiv open and I give it extra room. Just squeezing it with my hands. Like that. Now I'm going to do these other two. Okay, so that screw is stripped. I just used a different screw. All right, we'll put on this front one too. Alright, so now the switch is in place. So now I have to, I'm going to rotate this by hand down through the speeds and make sure everything is working right. So I'm just going to grab the shaft and rotate the shaft while I'm turning the speed control. And I can feel if anything is wrong, any binding or odd noises. And while I'm doing this, the 
two shelves are doing what they need to do. Alright, so I'm going to have to adjust the speed control setting because it's not quite in the right position. But the uh, motor shiv has opened up in response to my changing speeds. So look at my uh, speed uh, dial alignment video for the details on that. So that's how you do it. Set up the quadrant, the, the speed control about correctly. And it uh, makes it easy for you to pull the drive belt over the motor shaft. If you're trying to do it in this position, it'd be much harder. So that's the key to getting all of those two pieces back together. All right, and if your problem, if your machine has a big problem, you can feel free to ship it to me. Here's my email address and my phone number. This is my business, is Rebuilding Chopsmith Mark V Headstocks. So I'll be happy to help you uh, follow directions on my website on how to pack it and ship it to me securely.